friends. Um, I posted a blog a few days ago about how I felt God was calling me to really get into the Word more than I ever had and to really devour it. And I've been, I've been challenging myself to do that and I have been really enjoying it. And it has been a little bit hard. Um, I think there's some resistance that I'm meeting, but I am trying and I am, I am doing it more than I was and uh, learning a lot. I think God is multiplying my efforts uh, as an encouragement to keep going in this direction. And I wanted to encourage you with something that I, I mean, I've thought of it before, but it was really highlighted to me lately. And it's a little bit unusual. I don't hear about this much, but I think it's important. And it's, it's in, I'm reading Joshua right now. Joshua 1, 6. Be strong and courageous. This is God talking to Joshua. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land. And then in 7, he says again, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them. So, when God says something once in the Bible, I mean, this is God we're talking about. It's important. If he says it twice, especially be strong and courageous, be strong and very courageous, I think he means it. And then, in Revelation, I saw this over Christmas break. Now, this is really surprising to me. It's Jesus talking, and these are some of the final words of the whole Bible. And he lumps in cowards with, as bad as being corrupt. If you're a coward, it's, he, it, I'll just read it to you. It says, uh, I'm in Revelation 21, 3. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. And he also said, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of the water of life. All who are victorious will inherit all these blessings. And I will be their God, and they will be my children. But cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshippers, and all liars, their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. So, apparently, having courage, being victorious, and being strong and courageous is something that is very important to God. And... Jesus, we think of him as meek and mild, and he was meek and mild and humble, and he even let them take him and nail him to a cross, and he submitted to that, and he didn't protest. But that was of his own choice. It's not because he was afraid. He didn't do it out of intimidation or fear. He did it because he knew that that was the strong and courageous thing to do at that time. And at other times, he knew the strong and courageous thing to do uh, was to answer back to the Pharisees. And to stand up for, for what he was saying and saying, um, why are you thinking that in your heart? And questioning, why, why are you asking me that? Is it because you really want to know or are you just trying to trap me? You know, he would f answer back to them. He wasn't intimidated. He wasn't afraid. It says God is no respecter of persons. He is never intimidated by people. And the only reason why he is meek and mild is because it's his choice. He does it out of love, not out of fear. And so, I just, I mean, if God keeps telling Joshua to be strong and courageous, and in the, in the Revelation, he says, uh, where does he say, for the victor all who are victorious will inherit all these blessings. And then again, in Revelation 12, 11, it says, and they overcame him, meaning believers overcame the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their life until death. They overcame. They were victorious. So I think too often we don't live in the power that we're given. And we don't live with, with strength and courage. We are so often bullied by our feelings and bullied by evil forces. And we don't stand up and 
claim, no, I am a son or a daughter of the Most High God. I will not be afraid or intimidated. Yes, I can be meek and mild, and I can choose to submit and to humble myself in love and be a servant, but it's not because of fear or intimidation. And I won't let my mind be bullied or intimidated or captured by fear because it is a command in the Bible. Just as, as God commanded us to love one another, He commanded us to be strong and courageous. So I just want to encourage you to, to listen to that command because I don't think we hear that enough. And um, I'm going to try to, to do that and just, you know, be, be bold and be confident that God loves us and that He is with us. He is for us, not against us. And we have so much more authority and power through His name than, than I think that we realize sometimes. So I just wanted to remind you of that. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you, you remember that and claim that. And I'm reading Joshua right now. I'll probably be sharing more from Joshua because I've already in the past few days just found some pretty interesting stuff. So let me know what you think and be strong and courageous. All right. Bye.